All right, a recent change to Google Chrome has made it difficult to install user scripts uh, into Google Chrome from any place other than the Chrome Web Store. So today I'm going to show you how to install my Facebook automatic poke returner uh, into Google Chrome. Uh, with Firefox and Grease Monkey, it's the same as before. You go to userscripts.org and click the install button. It'll work as intended. So I'm at my website right now, davidsai.net 78net So I'm just going to go to Programming and choose Facebook Automatic Poke Returner. Now it's actually right there right now, but it might not be there later on. Okay. There's this link down here to the userscripts.org website, so I will now click that. Okay. Now, before you would click install, and it would Chrome would ask you whether you want to add this script to Chrome, and if you confirm the dialog, it would get added and you'd be all set. But this is what happens now. When you click that button, the script is downloaded to some folder on your computer, and a message up here appears saying extensions, apps, and user scripts can only be added from the Chrome Web Store. So I'm going to click OK, because it really doesn't give us any other options. Now what you need to do is click on the wrench icon, choose Tools, and then hit Extensions. I just came here click this icon and chose show in folder Wait, there we go now you can see Google Chrome downloaded the user script right here drag this script over the extensions page and you'll see this message that's ah, message that says drop to install in fact let me move this window aside to show you it says drop to install so drop it right on that message and you'll now be asked, confirm new extension. Add Facebook Autopoke. It can access your data on all websites. Now, actually, it only accesses uh, Facebook.com, but Chrome just says that for user scripts. So choose Add, and it'll tell you Facebook Autopoke has been added to Chrome. And um, let's see, here it is. And now, when you load facebook.com slash pokes it will load this thing it takes a while to load actually but that's because it's a really big program alright and there now when, when someone pokes you he or she will automatically be poked back and you can close this now um, you may have some problems uh, doing this if there is I found a space in the path name so make sure that all the way from your root direct from the root of the drive if you're on Windows or the root directory uh, all the way down to the script there are no spaces in the path name I found that it sometimes just doesn't work if there's a space and um, some of you might be used to dragging the um, the file from the downloads bar down here and dropping it right onto the extensions page. I found that on Windows that doesn't work very well uh, in some cases. So it's better just to choose show in folder, come coming come over here and drag it from the uh, from the file explorer. Yep. Alright. 